guys welcome back to my channel today I had a lovely day foraging in my dad's farm it was always one of my favorite things to do since being very little the farm we had an abundance of different fruits vegetables we even had large pecan nut trees that my grandfather planted and my dad spent lots of time in the farm he enjoyed the garden so today I went to forage for a whole lot of green mangoes so my daughter has asked me to make spicy mangoes for her that's one of the items we're making she used to love it when my mom used to make that so she's asking me to make it exactly like my mom did i'm hoping i get that right and then i'm using my mom's recipe and making caramelized sugar mangoes so that was also one of our favorite treats growing up it's it's a bit spicy it's sweet it's got sugar and my mom used to call it sugar mangoes but i call it caramelized sugar mangoes i've tweaked it a little bit but it tastes just as good so let's start getting our mangoes ready so these are the fresh green mangoes that i got from my dad's farm so it's nice and fresh and a good size we won't be pickling this today we'll pickle another day so we're just making spicy mango and caramelized mangoes so first we're just going to wash the mangoes properly and then we're going to peel them and slice and grate so let's get washing So the mangoes have been washed and these ones are half ripe so this we're going to use for our spicy mangoes because that won't be too sour so i'm just going to peel all the big ones and get them ready for my daughter because she is nagging me Taking all the peel off. So the mangoes have all been peeled. These little mangoes are perfect for pickling. So they're quite young. We're gonna set them aside. We're gonna make our caramelized mango with that. I'm going to grate this, but my mom used to dice them. And we're going to use this for the spicy mangoes. So I'm just gonna be slicing these into bite-sized pieces. And then we're gonna spice them with salt, sugar, and some mild curry powder and some vinegar. That's how my mom made it. Growing up on the farm, this was always one of our treats. We had an abundance of different types of mangoes, apples, nachi, lots of citrus fruits, pineapples, we had lichus, nachis. That was the best part of growing up on the farm. I still love the farm and I prefer living on the farm. So I'm just going to discard the seeds. Just using a big dish so it's easier to mix. Okay, so this 
is the mixture that I made. It's a little bit of sugar, salt, and mild curry powder. Just sprinkling that in there. And I've got some white vinegar. I'm just gonna give this a toss. Just gonna mix this. And I'm gonna mix the vinegar in there. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit more of the curry powder since it's mild. You could also add meatballs to this. You could also do the same with pines, with oranges. So now this is ready to serve. She's been nagging me. And now this is done. Just going to serve that in a bowl. So this is now ready to serve, just going to put a little bit of curry powder over for a bit more spice and that's ready to go. So we are now ready to prep for our caramelized mango, just going to grate this. I like to grate it because I don't like biting into the strings of the mango, but these are quite young, they still got the, the soft seed in them. That's why I say they're perfect for pickling. So we're just going to crunch here with the grating. So I'm going to caramelize it and because I'm grating it, it's going to have a nice jam texture. You could have this on toast or eat it with your spicy dish or however you prefer. So I'm just going to continue with the grating. So the ingredients we will be using for our caramelized green mango curry today. My mom used to use curry leaf and onions, but I'm um, omitting. I've got dry chilies, whole jeera, mustard seeds, sunflower cooking oil, a cup and a quarter of white sugar. You could add more if you like. I've got an abundance of time in the garden, so I'm making good use of that, but I will take out all the stems after it's cooked. I just want those flavors in there. Our mango that we grated, or you could dice or cut them roughly. Then I've got turmeric, salt to taste, and chili flakes. So let's start cooking. So we have load shedding at the moment. I'm relying on the natural lighting and I need to manually light my gas stove. So I've got my flame on high and I'm just going to be adding about 60 ml of cooking oil, not too much. We will drain out the excess oil. So we're just going to be adding the chili the turmeric and the mustard seeds and we just want this to cook slightly just to infuse the flavors
So they're starting to roast. And the chili is also releasing its flavor. I can smell it's very strong. And a few jiras, very potent. So that's already roasted. I'm going to be adding the thyme. Just let that cook for a little bit. So we're ready to add our mango. I didn't get a lot out of there because I grated. Adding some turmeric and a little bit of salt. Giving this to mix. And I'm gonna let this to cook for 10 minutes, mixing halfway. So I've got my flame on very low. This has been cooking for 10 minutes and you can see this is watered down to quite little. But that's fine if you decide to chop mangoes instead of grating and use up the seeded parts you'll get much more. But I wanted to make almost like a chutney or jam. So now I'm going to remove all the stems and the chili. I'm just using a tweezer because I won't be popular with my family if I leave all this in here. So use this to garnish later but that's optional getting all the stems out okay so Now I'm ready to add the sugar. I've got my flame on low at the moment. And as you can see, the sugar is already melting. Just going to be adding more sugar. And I'm going to let this cook gently for another five minutes. Our caramelized mango is now cooked. I'm just going to be adding a little bit of the chili flakes and we're going to switch our stove off. As you can see the color changes quite a bit and this turns into a lovely sauce or jam if you prefer but you as I said you could do the chunky version like my mom did I'm gonna switch the flame down and we're ready to serve guys I hope you enjoyed our green mango recipes today and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're gonna give it a thumbs up and a try please remember to subscribe and share until our next video, take care, bye.